left side is 2 kg and right side it's 2 kg and the rod is 2 kg so total 6 kg the other one is uh, 1 kg each on the sides and the rod is 2 kg so 4 kg i've got the courage to share my workout routine usually it will be an alternate of one day as a lower body workout and another day will be an upper body workout and i follow this throughout the week in alternate days <laughs> Typically, my day starts from 8 a.m. and goes till 4 p.m. in the evening. Most of my meetings are video calls, so I want to get ready and be presentable at least. I like to take notes whenever I learn something new. According to research, note taking allows you better remember the stuff you read. This is because the effort required to take notes helps form new pathways in the brain and encode information in a way that it stores better in your long term memory. saying that can you give me a referral of course anyone who work in an mnc who, which has a referral program then definitely um, they can give you a referral but provided you can't just say hi give me a referral that would be a little immature to do so this is how i approach people like i go check the um, job requirement and quickly grab the id and what type of uh, job requirement is and I'll write the uh, message crisp and clear to the direct If you haven't checked my previous blog this will do then I'll put a link somewhere here you can go and check out so in that video I spoke about what is the Python course that I'm taking there's a course uh, from uh, course era called Python for everybody so it is by Dr. Chuck and I am almost done with that course like just a last few bit of exams like a practice problems are still pending like one or two are pending that's it and I'm almost done so the second course that we saw in the previous video was uh, Excel Advanced uh, Certification MO201 uh, by Eric uh, Riss uh, in the Udemy course, I think. So I'm halfway through, like, haven't completed it quite vast. I am still in the advanced formulas and macro session, still pending. So I'm going to continue next week, next month as well. So that is there. What are the next upscale that I'm planning to do? So now that we are done with the basic of Python, I want to move ahead and uh, learn a little more advanced uh, Python. Um, there is a course in Coursera called Advanced Data Analytics and uh, we discussed about this in our previous uh, video as well and uh, it's from Google. Uh, it's called Google Advanced Data Analytics. So select Google Advanced Data Analytics and the course name is Get Started with Python and that the course is number two uh, it is a specialization under which there are several courses i probably will take only get started with python because uh, 
I know this is a specialization and it's going to take a lot of time. That's what I'm going to enjoy. That is course number one. And there is another course that I checked um, that I want to indulge in. So there is a YouTube channel called Let's Talk and they always put videos related to English, public speaking, uh, vocabularies, how to speak natural English and all of that. So I really like that video. So I came to know that they, they publish some courses. This actually contains several parts and this is called Speak English Naturally. Each one costs 7.99 rupees. Uh, they have a combo and uh, the combo is like 1,750 rupees. I think I might enroll for a combo. How to approach a job search. And I want to address this because many of you, like literally many of you who follow me are like freshers who are looking for job change, who have not found any job. And I get a lot of messages. I, I just want to put a caveat that I am a data analyst, like a senior data analyst in this industry for quite some time. But it doesn't mean I am a HR who have, you know, day in and day out find jobs for freshers. I don't have such experience. So if you're going to ask me, I am going to tell how I will approach a job search, not how you guys can find job. There is no guarantee that if I say or I give uh, five steps and you're going to get the job immediately. That is not that easy. I still can give you, you know, some steps what you can follow. When I have to move uh, to a different domain inside my company, I definitely get created an Excel tracker where I start tracking the application ID that I applied, what is the job description they have put, and what is my skill set according to it. Uh, after the one round of uh, you know uh, applying to jobs, uh, then I started highlighting my resumes back and forth, see which one works, what type of highlight I have to do based on the pattern, the job description they are looking for. All that I did then after one and a half month, I started seeing a uh, good response uh, in my job search. So that's how even it worked for me. I know it is not as easy as it sounds, uh, so it's going to take a lot of time. Definitely uh, finding a job uh, without a referral is itself a full-time job. So have patience, uh, keep applying uh, to every jobs and start tracking the progress and see how you're moving ahead. Number five uh, that I want to address is what is the next upcoming videos. So there are a lot of requests in this part. So I will definitely cover this in my Q&A session. I recently posted a, a post in YouTube. Uh, Please ask questions and tag your friends. At least 10 plus questions I'm busy. Uh, there are questions for roadmap creation, like how to become a data analyst without any experience or from a different background. So I definitely want to address that. I will create a roadmap. That is the um, upcoming one. And many of you are asking for free courses. Of course, I started this channel for creating um, you know, uh, content related to the tools that I know, uh, Excel, Python, or uh, SQL, majorly, uh, Power BI. Uh, I will be creating a course, like a few hour course, uh, which you can access for free. If I want to have a high calorie carb in the evening as a dinner, then mostly I will have it at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. in the evening so that I don't have to sleep immediately after having a dinner. Still sticking around. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you another one. Bye.